The food for this food video was chosen with the help of my Patreon supporters. Go to patreon.com slash prozd if you want to help choose the next food. Okay, see ya! Time to try a whole bunch of Popeyes. Now, I know my editor Jay loves Popeyes, so I'll be very curious to hear his thoughts uh, after editing this. So, I'm not going to be trying literally everything, but pretty much everything. The only thing I'm not going to do is, there's, it's like every fucking like sandwich has like, oh, you want to do classic or spicy or blackened? And there's like four different sandwiches that's like, it's just too many variations, but I'm gonna try pretty much most of it. So to start with, we're gonna go through some of the limited time stuff first, so I make sure I get them. It does feel a little odd starting with fish, but right now, uh, the spicy flounder sandwich. Assume it's got the same fixins as the chicken sandwich. It's like it's just like a sauce and maybe it's like a tartar sauce. Let's find out. Got pickles in there too. I like fish sandwiches. I think this one's pretty solid. In terms of spice, it's not spicy, but it's got a good flavor. It's not something I would go out of my way to get again, although I'm gonna be trying a different version of this later. Fish is nice and flaky, crispy. Um, the sauce is fine. It's a solid B. It's pretty good. And then we have, I guess this is like a Valentine's thing. It's like a heart-shaped strawberry biscuit. I think it's supposed to have like strawberry pieces inside. I'll find out. Okay. See, the top is like a very sweet icing, like a like a cinnamon roll icing. Inside, I guess, maybe there's a little bit of, almost looks like a strawberry piston here. It needs more strawberry flavor though. It's very lacking in that. Kind of just tastes like an iced biscuit with a vague strawberry scent. It tastes fine, C plus, it's fine. Classic flounder sandwich. Um, so it's the same sandwich, but pickles, or well, it's the same pickle sauce, but the non-spicy version. Okay, yeah, spicy is definitely the way to go. Um, even though the spicy sandwich is not spicy, it like tastes, has a stronger flavor. This is a pretty okay fish sandwich. I, wow, the seasoning actually adds quite a bit, I think. Like, it doesn't taste bad, but I feel like the spicy one should be the default. B minus, like a low B minus, it's fine. And then it's butterfly shrimp. Um, so these are just fried. I'm gonna try one without the sauce. I mean, I love shrimp and I do like Popeye, like the seasoning of the breading. This is pretty good. I mean, I got some tartar sauce too, so let's... Honestly, it's good even without the sauce. Uh, oh, mmm. I'm digging it. Hey, I just love shrimp. I got all four wings. Let's try the honey barbecue first. This is like the most dinkily sauced honey barbecue wing I've ever seen. Look at this. Oh, but my, my friends are just awkwardly watching me as usual. Like, looks like it's barely on there. Um, let's give it a shot. It's good. Even this has heat on it. It would fuck you up. Yeah. Like, even the one that's labeled honey barbecue is like, actually like, got some heat to it. I think this lands at like, uh, like a beef. It's, it's, uh, it's a nice sweetness. And then we're gonna try sweet and spicy, which I don't know what this is gonna taste like because that one tasted like sweet and spicy. Mm, okay. Not as sweet, ironically. Yeah, this is more, more peppery. Yeah, more in the traditional hot sauce vein, but still sweet. I like these too. Um, it's like a, like a B plus, they're also good. Signature hot. Ooh, um, these come in like a sort of red. These are good. These are like kind of like a Nashville chicken style. At this point, it's hard to even tell the heat apart because it's all kind of just spicy, but I like these. I think these are my favorite so far. I'm gonna say A minus. I think these are really good. I think these are supposed to be ghost pepper wings. They're not labeled, which is, seems strange. B 
These are good too. Um, yeah, there's definitely like spice you can see inside there. It's all kind of just hot. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, these are definitely the spiciest. I gotta say, all the wings are good. Like, they're nice and juicy, really great crispy breading. This might be my least favorite, just because of the flavor. Like, it's good, but it's not like, it's mainly just about the heat. Maybe B minus. Like, they're good, but they're nothing special. I think the others add like a different kind of vibe. And then my friend is generously letting me try a bite of some stuff so I don't have to order it later. He got the tenders. Try and try all the sauces too. So I had the tartar sauce before. This is the wild honey mustard. Gotta say, in comparison to the wings, these look like pale ass basic bitch. <laughs> okay, let's try it without the sauce. Okay, I'm not really a tenders guy. Um, I feel like I tend to prefer wings because I feel like the meat's juicier, but. They're good, but I actually much prefer the wings. B minus. You know, there was a comment before where people were like, man, it must be weird when he when his friends let him try his food and he just rates them like badly in front of them. But uh, they're good, you know, I, you can't really go wrong with Popeyes. I have a little bit of his biscuit. That sounds suggestive. I mean, I've had these before, hold up. The biscuits are great. Buttery, crispy, flaky, B plus. A little bit of the homestyle mac and cheese. Just a little bit here. Nice and creamy, um, good cheese flavor, yeah. Uh, I love mac and cheese, I'm sorry, A minus. I, uh, overall, pretty impressed with all these. And yeah, the heat doesn't linger too long, like it's already faded away, but I think for people who can't handle heat, you might want to avoid most, if not all the wings. I think it would fuck you up. This is just the original chicken. Did you get it spicy? Yes. Okay, so this is a spicy one, which is probably better anyway. I'll just take one bite. Great. I do think I like the wings better. Nice juicy chicken. Breading's good. I like the spice. In fact, what does the original taste like? Spicy is the way to go. Um, it's good too though. This is like a solid B plus. It's good. And then I'll just have a little bit of Steve's coleslaw. I'm not really a coleslaw guy. Let's see, maybe this will win me over. Maybe I'll change, I'll be converted. You know, C minus. I just don't really like coleslaw. What I got, well first I got the tea. This is their sweet tea. Apparently they don't have unsweetened iced tea anymore. Just sweetened, so it's one less thing to try. This is gonna be a hot take. I've never cared about sweet tea, ever. This, I don't get it. I like tea. Sweet tea is just like fine. And maybe Popeyes is not the best example. C minus. Oh, it's gonna make people mad. I know, but I don't. I don't care about ice or, or sweet tea. I'm sorry. I don't get it. It just tastes like sugar, and that's it. The spicy truff chicken sandwich. They're doing like a collab with truff, which I really like. Truff hot sauce or truffle hot sauce. Those are pickles on this. Yeah. Okay. It looks like it's just like truff sauce on it. It's good. Um, really love the crispy, crunchy patty or patty, but chicken. I like truff sauce. If you like that truffly sweet sauce, I think it, it's quite good. Really love that crunch. They're pretty fucking good. A minus. I like it a lot. And mashed potatoes. I'm also not a huge mashed potatoes guy, but they're pretty good. I like, it's got a little bit of like, you know, the Cajun flavor. These are about gonna be as high as mashed potatoes usually go. They're like a B minus. They're, they're good. They're just kind of, it's not really a food that I get excited about, but they taste fine. The blackened chicken sandwich, I got it spicy because uh, it's just better spicy. Um, all right. The same toppings like pickles and spicy sauce, um, but this I guess is kind of more healthy because it's not fried. Chicken's still juicy though which is very important. I feel like this would have the potential to be like pretty lame if it was not juicy and really dry, um, but it's juicy. The um, natural patty is like nicely seasoned. So it's peppery, it's salty, it's good. I do miss that crunch, but it's solid. I'm gonna say B, it's just, a, it's just a good sandwich. And then we have an Oreo cheesecake cup. Very dense. 
The Oreo is not crunchy. I really wish it was. It's very soggy. Um, so this isn't really my thing. If you watch these videos, you know I really like texture in my desserts. Crunchy, crispy. It just tastes like very thick cheesecake filling. And I don't think this tastes like anything particularly special. Very one note, C minus. Uh, some more Popeyes. Uh, this is a first. Uh, <laughs> my wife is cooking in the background because I didn't know she'd be cooking. <laughs> Uh, so, so this Popeyes instead. This really looks like I don't want to eat your yucky food. <laughs> I want to eat Popeyes instead. Uh, no, I ordered this and then I come to record this and she's cooking. I'm like, oh, this is a first. And you were like, wow, that's really good. Yeah, the pasta looks quite good. So let's hope this Popeyes uh, can live up to it. Doing the original chicken sandwich. So I'm doing the not spicy one first. Uh, I'm gonna give the original chicken another chance because I do think spicy is the way to go for Popeyes. Looks like I just got mayo and pickles. This is good. Uh, I do think the spicy is the way to go, though. I think for all, if you if you can handle spice and like that kind of thing, um, I don't think Popeyes is that spicy, but I think it adds more flavor. But this is a solid chicken sandwich, I must say. Crunchy, juicy, A minus. It's pretty good. They're nuggets. Uh, let's try it on its own first. Also pretty damn good. I got some Mardi Gras mustard. Yeah, they're not dry, but it's nice. Nice crispy outer coating. Or they have sweet heat sauce too. Kind of like a chili sauce. Yeah, like a B plus. Yeah. Oh, and then I'll try, <laughs> what, what's in this pasta? Just, I don't know, like butter, milk, nutritional yeast. There's a bunch of like, just stuff like leftover it's, stuff. It's vegan, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's doing a lot of vegan cooking, so. like curry in this curry powder yeah mm, okay yeah i could smell it it's good yeah um s tier of course <laughs> it's okay you can be honest you can say it's d tier no it's good that, that's quite is good. it better than the popeyes yeah i mean i give it s tier so <laughs> Damn. anyway uh enjoy uh the bonus my wife's cooking um <laughs> taste we're gonna do the spicy chicken sandwich this time so the same one as before but whoa that's a huge piece of chicken but spicy, I guess. Yeah, like the spicy one is not spicy, but it tastes better. So always go spicy. I think it's gonna get an A. I really like that. Cajun fries. Okay. They're a little cold, but they're, they still are, they're still good. Crispy. They're almost like curly fry adjacent in terms of flavor, which I like. Nice and potato-y. Yeah. Very good. I'm not a huge fry guy, but uh, I do appreciate the extra seasoning on these. I'm gonna say B plus. I'm actually pretty into these. All right, here are the final items. Uh, let's do the red beans and rice first. Here they are. Mm. Nice and smoky. Um, got a nice meaty flavor, which I really, I really like these actually. I'll say this is like an A. I really like these. I just like red beans and rice, and I think this does a good. Good job. This is the spicy bacon and cheese chicken sandwich. Looks like it's still the same sauce. Are this still pickles? I don't know. Still really good chicken. The bacon is, mm, I don't mind it. I don't know how necessary it is, but um, you know, I'm not complaining. Yeah, it's good. I think the cheese and bacon don't stand out that much, but they don't hurt, so I'm gonna say this is also like uh, an A. So that was Popeye's uh, overall. I really liked it. Tenders are a waste of time. I don't care about tenders. Um, I think their chicken sandwiches are quite good. I like the regular chicken. I like the nuggets. Even their sides are all solid. I'm not surprised, but I'm. it's nice. It's good shit.